Thank you for joining us for this midweek devotion from St. Luke Lutheran Church. I am Pastor Bert Thompson. Our hymn leader is Deaconess Carol. Our hymn this morning, closing hymn, is 562, All Mankind Fell in Adam's Fall. I'm not wearing my robe this morning because my robe is out to be washed. Um, God put his name upon us in the water of our baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our reading this morning is from 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, starting at verse 20. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the firstfruits of those who have fallen asleep. For as by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive, but each in, its ho in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, after destroying every rule and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. So far our text. The last enemy. This leads us to something called the final battle. These phrases sound like titles of video games played by teenagers, but there really is something called the last enemy, and there really is a final battle. What does this all mean? It's quite simple. We have three enemies. Each of them is more powerful than we are. All are pledged to destroy us. Our three enemies are sin, death, and the devil. We are born in sin. We cannot escape sinning. Therefore, sin wins. The wages of sin is death. We sin, so death wins. This means we've lost the war. So the devil wins. But it's not over till it's over. A champion emerges. A champion promised since the Garden of Eden. He has come to fight our three enemies. He takes on sin, death, and the devil all at the same time. This is the final battle. This battle determines the fate of all humanity. It's all or nothing. On one dread day, on the Friday, which we call good, the battle is fought. Is fought. In less than 24 hours, it's over. Our champion, our champion, hangs lifeless on a tree. He poured the toxic barrel of our sin on himself, and the wages of sin is death. To all the world, it looks like sin won, death won, Satan won. But it's not over till it's over. Because of what happens on that cross, our enemies have fallen like a row of dominoes. On that cross, Christ paid the penalty of hell for our sins. This means that sin's power over us has been ripped away. And this means that hell has been deprived of its power to punish us. Because of this, death now has lost its authority over us. And then, three days later, on a glorious Sunday morning, Christ arises from his grave in victory. The final battle is over. Christ has won. Don't worry yourself about battles which will be fought at the end of this world. The final battle has already been fought on the cross. The evil ones have already lost the war at the foot of that cross. Do not be afraid of them. For them, it's over. For us, our joy has just begun. Jesus will come again at the last day, and death itself will be dismembered. Even now, all death does is provide for us a doorway to heaven. 
Do not be afraid of it. Look to Christ. In Christ and in Christ alone, you have eternal life through the forgiveness of your sins. When your bodies rise again at the last day, you will see the end of death, your last enemy. When Jesus comes again, death will die. All praise be to God the Father, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the Lord of life. Your Son, Jesus Christ, defeated the power of sin, which then destroyed the power of death and the devil. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us living in the victory over sin, death, and the devil, which Christ has won for us by his punishment for our sins on the cross. Keep us faithful to Christ, that we may see the destruction of our last enemy, death itself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hymn 562, All Mankind Fell in Adam's Fall. Mm -hmm. 